Hello everybody. The last time we talked about the absorption process. Today we will talk about the blood route and the lymphatic route. We will talk about the metabolism and the part of the large intestines. So, first off, first thing to mention uh, is uh, the last time we talked we talked about the movement of the food from the ileum inside the villus. And we said that some types of food move to the blood and others move to the lymph through the lacteals which are present in the body. So the blood route in the blood route there are five kinds of food that uh, move through it. We have water, we have mineral salts, uh, we have some soluble vitamins amino acids which resulted from the hydrolysis of the proteins and the glucose which resulted from the hydrolysis of the sugar so these five kinds of food move through the blood graph Actually, they move through the blood vessels outside the intestines till they reach the hepatic portal vein. And hepatic refers to the liver, portal refers to the opening or the beginning. So they enter the liver through the hepatic portal vein. Uh, so then they enter the liver, they are processed. Then, yeah, hepatic portal vein then to the liver then to the hepatic vein this is the main liver vein uh, when they um, go outside from the liver and at last they are emptied through the inferior vena cava. So the vena cava is a, a very important vein in the heart and the inferior means that it's downwards. So this vena cava has two branches, uh, one downwards and one upwards. The one downwards is the inferior vena cava and this is where the blood route reaches the inferior vena cava and then the food drops inside the heart. The second thing is the lymphatic route. And here in the lymphatic route we have only two types of food which are fatty acids And um, those two and glycerol are absorbed through the lacteal and not the blood vessels. The fatty acids and, glyc and glycerol have some contents of vitamins. They have vitamin A, D, and K. So the two of them, both with all of their contents, move to the uh, lymphatic system. And they move slowly till they are emptied in the superior vena cava. Superior vena cava is the one which is upwards, the upward branch of the vena cava, and the inferior vena cava is the one that downwards. Uh, here we have some uh, things to mention in the absorption of fatty acids and glycerol. Uh, some em uh, finely emulsified fats are not absorbed by the lacteals, but they are engulfed by the epithelial cells which cover the valley. So they are automatically absorbed by the epithelial cells to be used directly by them. And others are also absorbed by the ileum to make new fats because they are finely emulsified. But the, bi the big polymers are absorbed by the lacteals through the lymphatic route till they reach the superior vena cava. After that, after the food, uh, the food went to the heart, 
it's all done now and the only thing which uh, remains is the making usage of this absorbed food and making usage of the absorbed food is a term which is called metabolism how to make use of the absorbed food the metabolism the metabolism actually spreads to two types anabolism and catabolism the anabolism is the combination of the large uh, of the small sorry monomers to form polymers once more so it may be the opposite of digestion the anabolism is the collecting of small monomers to make bigger polymers to make use of them for example uh, glycerol uh, sorry glucose may be um, collected back to form sugar uh, we have also amino acids can be collected back and recombined to form polypeptides in proteins to uh, uh, be stored in the muscles and so also we have the fats and glycerol may be collected and stored mainly under the skin to form fat inside the body while the cannibal is uh, we have an example for uh, the food may be burned down or oxidized to produce energy so that the glucose or the starch may be burned down to produce energy for the body and this is the uh, what's meant by the cannibalism the last thing in digestion causes the defecation and the large intestines the large intestines the large intestines are the final stage of digestion the food with no use of it that the body cannot utilize moves to the large intestines and the large intestines I uh, have also uh, some uh, cells that absorb in their lining that absorb also the, the thing that may be useful for the body for the last time and there are bacteria which are responsible for the bad order of the uh, defecated food and uh, they also transfer the undigested food into simple substances to be easily excreted. Uh, the large intestines also produce mucus secretions that facilitate the uh, process of defecation. And at last, with the contractions, muscle contractions of the large intestines and the relaxation of the anal sphincter, the food goes out uh, the body. And this is the end of the digestion part. This is the end of our chapter one. And the next time we will begin our chapter 2 that talks about transportation. In the living organism. And of course we will talk about transportation in both plants and animals. And till then I thank you for watching and see you next time.